Freedom, one of the most misunderstood words in history. But do we truly know what it means today? Are we as free as we think, or is our freedom shaped by the systems around us? Hello, Book Foxes! Welcome back to At The Book Fox Summaries, where we keep books simplified for your busy life, one summary at a time. Today we're diving into On Freedom by Timothy Snyder, a powerful exploration of the concept of freedom, its nuances, and its implications in our modern world. Freedom means that you insist on being heard, but freedom also means you accept responsibility. Snyder, a historian, is best known for his works on tyranny and democracy, and in this book he invites us to consider the responsibilities tied to being free. The book falls under the genre of political philosophy and history following the success of Snyder's critically acclaimed On Tyranny. We'll explore Snyder's key arguments on how freedom isn't just an individual pursuit, but a shared societal goal that requires active participation and moral responsibility. In On Freedom, Timothy Snyder explores the many dimensions of freedom, political, personal, and social. The book argues that freedom isn't just about the absence of constraints, but also the presence of opportunities. Snyder challenges the conventional notion of freedom as purely individualistic, framing it instead as a collective responsibility. The central theme revolves around the tension between personal autonomy and the social obligations that ensure freedom for all. Snyder argues that without responsibility, freedom turns into a selfish pursuit that can erode the very foundations of democracy. He divides the book into several key themes political freedom, personal autonomy, economic independence, and moral responsibility. While there are no traditional characters, Snyder uses examples from history like Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, and contemporary figures to explore how freedom has been applied and distorted. These individuals, through their writings and actions, contribute to the discussion of liberty, often revealing its complexities. Through these examples, Snyder examines how different individuals and groups have navigated the complexities of freedom throughout history, influencing political systems and societal norms. Their personal choices and philosophies are contrasted against modern-day struggles for freedom. The book's core message is that freedom is not just a right, but a responsibility. Snyder emphasizes that personal freedoms must coexist with social obligations, and that true freedom means ensuring others can live freely as well. Snyder connects his analysis to modern political systems, particularly focusing on how freedom is manipulated by governments and institutions today. He points to contemporary debates around individualism, social justice, and economic inequality as critical battlegrounds for true freedom. Snyder's argument pushes us to engage more critically with our freedoms, understanding that they come with obligations to others and society. Snyder's on freedom was an eye-opener for me. It made me reflect on how often we overlook the responsibilities that come with freedom. The book forces us to question our role in ensuring freedom not just for ourselves but for our communities. I loved how Snyder connected historical lessons to today's political environment. However, at times, the dense political theory might feel overwhelming for readers new to the subject. Freedom is the power to do something, not just the absence of restrictions. True freedom requires solidarity. It's not just about what we can do for ourselves, but what we can do for each other. This phrase challenges the misconception that freedom is merely about having no constraints, reframing it as the ability to act meaningfully in the world. It shifts the focus from individual liberties to societal empowerment. Snyder emphasizes that true freedom is intertwined with the welfare of others. This shifts the dialogue from freedom from to freedom for. True freedom is about making informed and responsible choices that contribute to the common good. On Freedom reminds us that freedom is both a personal and collective pursuit. It is not just about escaping constraints but ensuring everyone has the opportunity to thrive. I'd highly recommend this book to anyone interested in political philosophy, history, or simply anyone who wants a deeper understanding of what it means to live in a free society. What's your take on the meaning of freedom in today's world? Let me know in the comments below. How can we balance individual rights with collective responsibility? If this book aligns with your interests, grab your copy through the link in the description. Your support helps us bring you more book summaries. And here's a bonus tip for those who made it to the end. If you're intrigued by Snyder's take on freedom, check out our summary of Animal Farm, the warning that went unheard, for more on democracy and freedom. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for joining us, Book Foxes. If you enjoyed this summary, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more books simplified for your busy life. 
and let's keep the conversation going in the comments. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. Books simplified, minds amplified. See you in the next summary.